At my heaviest, I was over 320 pounds. I was watching TV all the time because I was lazy. I could be watching it from 8 to midnight. I would cook deep fried foods, corn dogs, french fries, chicken strips, all of it, I would fry it. After watching two months of TV straight, I was sick of it. I wanted to stop that and start my own journey. And I've lost over 170 pounds. When I found out I had cancer, that was a big thought in my head. How am I going to stay working out? Growing up, I was definitely overweight. I was more on the heavier side through elementary, middle, high school. I was always in a sport, but I was just always heavier, just overeating. We'd have a pot of oil or like a deep fryer and filled with vegetable oil and kind of just like at a fast food restaurant, but we would just do it at home. Corn dogs, french fries, chicken strips, chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks. All of it, I would fry it. I ate that, it was good, it was tasty. I didn't think anything of it. Like, I didn't feel any type of way because that's what I grew up eating. I just was watching TV all the time because I was lazy. I just didn't want to do anything. I did, if I didn't want to talk to anybody, I was just drawn into the show. I could be watching it from eight to midnight sometimes, four to five hours a day, just doing nothing. After watching two months of TV straight back to back, going to work, coming home, eating and watching shows, I was just sick of it. I was just sick of being, you know, overweight. I was sick of feeling gloomy all the time. So I finally took the initiative after seeing people on Instagram do it. I knew that I could do it. So I kind of just put a stop to the whole binge watching TV all the time. I wanted to stop that and start my own journey. I finally got a gym membership and it was, it took a lot of courage just because like I was scared and not knowing what I was supposed to do. I had a trainer help me a lot with exercises and that really kicked my butt into gears. I lost this 170 pounds, I lost that probably within 17 months. With losing weight, I feel like the workouts that helped me most were high intensity. So I did a lot of cardio mixed with like weight training. Um, like I said, getting your heart rate up, getting it, getting it down is really effective for me. I would say my journey inspired me ten ten. to become a trainer. Deeper squat. Just because like I know what it's like to be over 300 pounds. And when somebody walks into the gym, not knowing, feeling uncomfortable, I've been there. Like the line. Been through the experience. You know what that means? You gotta speed it up fast. Having her as a personal trainer to be there to motivate us is you know, really inspiring. And knowing that she could do it means that we could do it too. The end of 2018, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. I had already lost all my weight. It affected more of my maintenance of trying to stay fit while going through chemo and going through the thoughts and the process of it all. And it affected my strength. That was a big thought in my head. Oh, how am I gonna stay working out? How am I gonna have the energy? Because you know, you hear chemo and you hear, you see people going through it. I was determined to like not let my weight loss go to waste. So I had a lot of reassurance through like Instagram, like people would reach out. So I looked at that as motivation. Right now, I would say I feel the best with weight wise. Looking in the mirror, I feel like the most confident right here, right now, today, yeah. Things happen, cancer happened, you know, it was a little setback, but cancer free now, and now I'm just doing.
doing the things that I've been wanting to do. I want to help other people. I want to show them what to do and how to do it and help them reach their goals. I would say, like, if you are thinking about losing weight, like, just go for it. Don't overthink it. Cut out the excuses and just don't give up. That's a wrap.